Cobra likes. Is it worth it? Okay, so, okay, so this is my uh, Uber light, and it is a little bit deflated right now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the pros and cons of this, in my opinion. So, pro, this is very light. It comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces. It is comfortable, it's soft, and it's rated for three seasons, maybe two seasons. Definitely spring and summer, not necessarily fall and winter, but it is very light, so that's one. It is very comfortable and soft, that's two. And then also for number three, it, it compacts down very well. This is very small. This will have a very small footprint in your pack. So those are some of the pros. The cons, you're gonna see these on the forums if you look past the five-star reviews, is that one, it is expensive. This is not a cheap uh, air pad. Two, this has its flaws. It is very delicate. And a lot of people have been returning these saying that they've got leaks that they can't find where the leak is, there's this hole, it's, it's not working, it's not staying inflated. And if you use this in colder temperatures, you have to top it off with air because it's so thin, so light, that the warm air from your breath will escape out if you only give it one fill up. So that's another con. And then the third con, which I haven't experienced this personally, but I've seen this a lot in reviews, is that the customer service with especially it seems about this is very poor again i haven't experienced this personally but that's what i've read in multiple forums that when people try to return this when they try to get their money back when they try to get a fix that the customer service was very poor and lacking and basically blamed them for the issue and this has been coming back in droves many 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 people have been returning this because it's just not working it leaks, it leaks around the valve, or there's something somewhere that the other products and other products with the companies just don't have. Okay, so what about my, what about me and my review? Uh, I've used this a handful of nights. The first two nights it worked well, and then the last night that I've used this, it did develop a small leak somewhere. I put a patch on an area that was maybe affected or maybe it's the valve I don't know the issue though is I know that there's a couple of youtubers that are extremely popular in the hiking community I won't name them who swear by this they say it's great um, one of them even said it's the new king of air pads uh, I don't think so I had mine pitched in my duplex which is a Dyneema bathtub floor very durable very strong I had it pitched on a flat surface. I made lots of care and effort to make sure it wasn't on any rocks, any big nature, any twigs, any, any sticks, anything that punctured and this deflated. I had to get up almost every hour and reinflate it. It just deflated. I came home here where the temperature is fine. Oh, by the way, when this was the last one where it deflated here, um, it didn't get below 45 degrees. So this temperature thing shouldn't have happened. I took, I brought this home and I blew it up here, put it on the carpet, laid on it, should be fine. I even put a couple of, of uh, repair kit uh, tapes where I thought it was a little worn, maybe after only three or four nights and it, it, it has deflated again. So I'm gonna take this back to REI. It's right at the one year mark. I'm gonna use it three times. Hopefully they'll take it. If not, then I'm just gonna junk it. But in my opinion, do not buy this pad. This is not worth it. Do yourself a favor. Look past those five star reviews and look at those four stars, three stars, two stars for their complaints. And you're gonna find the same thing over and over. There's this random leak, you can't find out where, it's probably in the valve stem, could be somewhere else, you don't know, you have to baby this thing. People have put this on, honest to, good, honest to God, the best surface as possible and it still leaks. In my opinion, don't waste your money. Go with the X-Lite, go with the Nemo Tensor, 
go with something else. This is attractive. It sounds great, but it just sounds too good to be true. And in my opinion, it is. It's too good to be true. It deflates. It, I, I babied it. It only worked a couple nights. I still babied it. In fact, the last night I had it where the pitch was perfect, the lay was great, it was better than any night before, and it deflated. So I'm gonna have to say, for my money and my advice, skip the Thermarest Uberlite. It's just not worth it. All right, guys, so with that, that's out. Hope this is helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's something that you think I missed on this or if there is a story that you have or if you heard something, you know, affirming or, un or just confirming what I have experienced or if there's something more you would like to know about this or another kind of, a piece, or another piece of gear you want me to review and I'll do that. But as always, I hope you found this helpful and best of luck out there.